her and she had to deal with her and put her in her place and um but many people always try to paint Sarah up as a spiteful jealous hearted mistress they see her as um like the how the slave mistresses were jealous of the slave women you know in the days and slavery days over here when the masters slept with the slave women and those slave mistresses took their spite on those slave women a lot of times they try to paint Sarah up as as one of those and that's not true because it was some Oh, some old cheap biblical movie I seen years and years ago about it was a story of Sarah and Abraham and Hagar and they had um they casted Abraham and Sarah as white as they usually do cast biblical characters as white and they had Hagar as black Hagar was Hagar was a black woman and they had it where Abraham was playing with Ishmael and this and that and um Hagar was all grinning and happy and Sarah was sitting there jealous and resentful so I, I think that movie was trying to portray it as a slave master, slave woman, slave mistress thing. But as we can see here, that's not how it went. Because Sarah gave Hagar to Abraham. It was not Abraham's decision to take Hagar. She gave Abraham, gave um, Hagar to Abraham. And then also it gets to the, the last misunderstanding. Okay, after Sarah finally bore a son, finally bore Isaac, did she just send Hagar and Ishmael away just because she didn't want any competition? Okay, now let's see. Let's go to Genesis 21. And we're going to read verses 1 through 14 and see was that the case. All right. And Yah visited Sarah as he said, and Yah did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age. At the set time of which Yah has spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son, being eight days old, as Yah had commanded him. And Abraham was an hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, Yah hath made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And she said, who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah would have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian whom she had borne unto Abraham mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with, the, with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing which was and the thing was very grievous unto Abraham sight because of his son. And Yah said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman, and all that Sarah has said unto thee. Hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So, um now now it now looked like this was sort of mean what Sarah was doing, but Yah approved of it. Because since Ishmael and, and Hagar was a bondwoman and Ishmael was a son of the bondwoman. They did not have the same rights as Sarah being a free woman and Isaac being the son of the free woman. So that's just how it was. But it just wasn't that it wasn't because Sarah was uh, just was was threatened by Isaac and Hagar for because she was jealous. It was because she seen Ishmael mocking and she knew that was going to be trouble down the road. Now the book of Jasher says this um, talks about this too now let's see what the book of Jasher says so we're going to read from the book of Jasher chapter 21 we're going to read verses 1 through 4 then we're going to skip down and read verses 11 through 15 all right Jasher 21 1 through 4 and then 11 through 15 and it was at the time at the end of the year of four months of Abraham's dwelling in the land of the Philistines in Gerar that Yah visited Abraham it visited Sarah and Yah remembered her and she conceived and bare a son to Abraham. And Abraham called the name of the son which was born to him, which Sarah bore to him, bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac at eight days old, as Yah had commanded Abraham to do unto his seed after him. And Abraham was one hundred, and Sarah was ninety years old, when Isaac was born to them. And the child grew up, and he was winged, and Abraham made a great feast. Unto the, to the day, upon the day that Isaac was weaned. 
Okay, let's skip down to 11 and read from 11 to 15. And Ishmael, the son of Abraham, was grown up in those days. He was 14 years old when Sarah bare Isaac to Abraham. And Yah was with Ishmael, the son of Abraham, and he grew up. And he learned to use the bow and became an archer. And when Isaac was five years old, he was sitting with Ishmael at the door of the tent. And Ishmael came to Isaac and seated himself opposite to him. And he took the bow and drew it and put the arrow in it and intended to slay Isaac. And Sarah saw the act which Ishmael desired to do to her son Isaac. And it grieved her exceedingly on account of her son. And she sent for Abraham and said to him, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for her son shall not be heir with my son, for thus did he seek to do unto her. So, okay, now, now I'm going to read um, 16 too. And Abraham hearkened to the voice of Sarai, and he rose up early in the morning, and he took twelve loaves and a bottle of water, and he gave to Hagar, and sent her away with her son. And Hagar went with her son to the wilderness. And they dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, which was the inhabitants of the wilderness. And Ishmael was an archer, and he dwelt in the wilderness a long time. So now the book of Jasher goes into more detail when it says that Sarah saw Ishmael was about to slay Isaac. So that was the reason why she didn't want um she sent had them sent away because she saw the danger it would will, will, will that was about to take place between Ishmael between Ishmael and Isaac were the problems and she saw Ishmael as being a danger to Isaac. I guess he was sort of jealous maybe because Isaac was the son of the free the free woman and um he was the son of the bonds woman all of that and Isaac had more status so he was probably jealous but so that was a reason so um so this lesson was to clear up the understanding so now you know that it was not Abraham's decision to take Hagar it was Sarah's decision and also Sarah yes the um, book of Joshua did say she was jealous but what contributed to all that it was because Hagar got the big head and Sarah had to deal with her and then also, um, did Sarah send Hagar and Ishmael away just because she didn't want any competition? No, that wasn't it. She saw the trouble that was about to start between Ishmael and Isaac. So that's why she had them sent away. So now, this, now let's not look at Sarah as some spiteful, jealous-hearted woman. She was not. She was a righteous woman. And um, she was a good and she was a righteous woman. So let's not look at her that way anymore. And um, I hope that this cleared a lot of the misunderstanding up. I hope this word was a blessing to you sisters who hear this word. And um, that concludes my lesson. Once again, this is Keziah Body Israel with the Israelite Heritage Women's Ministry, the Blessed Handmaidens of Yah and Yahushua. Shalom.